Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about how a racket can shape your game and I'm keen to hear what your first racket was and how did it mold your game and did it or do you think it was just one of the stepping stones to where you are today. Um, I've really noticed that uh, going back to my first a serious tennis racket that uh, I bought maybe 20 years ago, something like that, maybe a little bit less, is the Wilson 6195. I've done a review about this racket before. I keep coming back to it and it's one of those rackets that I just feel ultra at home with and it's really shaped my game in a way that I rely heavily on the slice where this racket is amazing and if you know the 6195 there's many many different generations uh, and a lot of pros use the 6195 today. Everything, everyone from Dan Evans, um, Del Potro, Philip Kohlschreiber, uh, Kyle Edmund, Dusan Lajovic, and uh, many more. And also players like Daniil Medvedev and Denis Shapovalov used the 6195 in their junior days. So this is definitely one of the most popular rackets on tour. Bautista Agut as well, I was gonna throw in there. So many, many good players use this racket. Why? It's ultra dependable, has this 1820 string pattern. In most cases, Cole Schreiber uses 1618, but the 1820 is the most popular one. So it gives you control, uh, but it also offers very good stability because it's a quite a heavy frame, 330 grams without strings and um, some the PVS system here to actually give a really good stability on impact. So I really feel like 100% uh, stable when I play with this racket. But my, my specs here, overgrip dampener is around 354 grams, the swing weight is 338 and I strung it with a new Luxelon string that I can't talk about right now, but that I really like. So very good racket for advanced players and not the easiest to use. I think many of you who, who watch this video have probably already used this in some form because it's been around for so long. Can't be bought in regular stores anymore, sadly. Uh, you have to go to the Wilson Pro Labs page and get their uh, 6195 there, which looks amazing. Sadly, I'm not in a region where I can buy it. Otherwise, I would have bought it and checked it out because it looks really cool. How does this impact my game? I rely heavily on the slice. That's one of the shots I really like and, and use a lot. And I use, try to use it a little bit as a weapon, a really, little bit to, to change up uh, you know, the strokes for my opponent. I also like to be very aggressive. So hit flat through the court and move to the net. And I think that's partly was shaped by playing with these kind of 1820, 95 screens rackets. If you started playing with a Rafa pure aero style racket, you're gonna have a, a definitely more spin oriented game. Uh, you're definitely gonna be trying to, to you know, add top spin, hit bigger targets, and that racket's gonna shape you a little bit because you, you're not gonna so naturally hit through the court and take balls on the rise with the arrow. So the racket will definitely shape you, and that's why I'm cur curious to hear what, how the racket shaped you because this one really shaped my game or slotted right in it, depending on how you look at it. But I just want to go hit flat through the court, use my slice a lot, good on serve and excellent on volley. So if you're playing aggressive tennis, you want to get to the net and this is rock solid on volleys, give you good precision with that small head size, tight string pattern. Uh, just, uh, you know, excellent feel and uh, stability at the net. So for my aggressive game, this racket still works well. It is quite demanding, the, st the string bed is tight, the head size is small, the weight is pretty heavy, but it has such a head-like balance, meaning it's so weighted towards the handle that I can still swing it pretty, pretty effortlessly. But for most players, it will be a little bit demanding. But I, I still like it, it's, it's what I return to uh, when I feel like I really want to go back home and, and uh, I really notice how my game suits this racket really well. Uh, it might be tough against some opponents, if they really push me back with a lot of spin. But overall, I, I really like playing with it still and that's why I keep it around and use it from time to time. And it's a good kind of reset after I'm testing so many different rackets all the time. It's nice to kind of go back home and get your strokes uh, back to, to normal and then keep on testing. Because if you just keep switching rackets all the time, you don't have a, a proper racket home, you're gonna feel a bit confused. So. This one and the Prestige I've been using over the last couple of years has, has, is kind of my home, home base that I can go back to and, and feel like I, I tune my strokes. And if you're one of those guys or girls that you keep changing rackets, you bring five, six different rackets all the time, maybe think about having a proper home base 
where you feel like your game is, is back to where it should be or where it feels natural. Uh, I think that's very important. For me, that's very important. Uh, it's kind of like a palate cleanser. It's a strategy I employ to, to try to always reset my, my tennis because otherwise it goes all over the place. And I've done this plenty over the years that you, you keep bringing five, six different rackets and you test rackets throughout the session, but you're, you're not happy with your play because switching rackets all the time, your, your tennis is going to suffer. That's always the case. What racket helped you shape your game? Uh, what was your kind of first serious racket? This was my first serious racket. Uh, let me know in the comments below, really keen to hear. And uh, do you still play with it? And, and what do you think of it? And so on. So keen to hear your stories about your, your first serious rackets. Join patreon.com slash tennis nerd for more content, chat function with me and so on. Or you can buy something through the links in the description, tennis warehouse, top court, swing vision and so on. I get a small commission if you do at no extra cost to you. That is all. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.